This first treasure is for the Cutwater treasure chest. That's where I am on the map. Pretty much in the middle of the zone of the larger section of Tiragard Sound. So currently standing at the base of the snow-capped mountains. The problem with this treasure is it's in the cave of the mountain looking straight ahead. Even though I'm at 115 I'm going to try and see if I can loot it even though it's surrounded by 120 mobs. So I probably won't be able to loot it without dying but we'll see. Yep, not quite. Let's see if second time's luckier. Excellent. Okay, so this next treasure is the Forgotten Treasure Chest. That's how it's listed on the minimap. That's where I am on the map. But interestingly enough, when you open the achievement, it's actually has a slightly different name, the Forgotten Smuggler's Stash. So if you look behind me, I won't show you now, but it, that's the location of the hay covered chest. So you can probably do these both together if you're questing in the area. But what I'm going to do, since it's surrounded by Alliance max level mobs and just 120 mobs in general, I'm going to try and sneak into the cave and see what I'm dealing with. So I I just had a little look inside the cave to see what I would have to fight and there are only two spiders at the entrance and if you can get past those I should be okay as long as I don't run over any of these webbed areas. I'm actually surprised they're not actually hitting me for that much. So I might be able to do this one. Loot! Didn't die. And it does look like you get a few of those buff items, which I think increases your stats by 35. That's the max level version. I know there's one for 110 I think, which is a little bit less. I think it's plus 15 to stats. But that brings me to the last of my Tiragard Sound treasures. So thank you for watching and see you next time.